Alright folks, so I just want to show that I finally got out my new Baycaster combo. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, of course, I went with the Shimano Tranks 401 HG. And as you can see here, I'm taking up slack pretty pretty quickly with the 40 inches per crank. And I have to say, I'm kind of ripping it, well, ripping it very fast for how cold it is. You know, we're going mid-December mid here. But I'm kind of just trying it out, you know, trying different... Uh, techniques ripping uh, the mods from Medusa and as you can see casting this beast um, I can do it uh, pretty effortlessly with the um, tackle industry extra extra heavy rod um, I just really like this combination a lot of musky veteran musky fishermen recommended it on the musky forums and so this is what I went with um, you know of course the 500 tranks is you know, if you want a bulletproof reel, that's the way to go. But again, I went with this because I'm left-handed. Um, and as you can see casting here, it, you know, it casts, per, uh, you know, a pounder pretty well. You know, the, the Monster Medusa is around 15 ounces, so it gets it out there pretty well. Um, we'll see how long it holds up. Uh, but, you know what, there's some things I heard you can do to these reels. Uh, to keep them running smoothly and you know extend the life of them um, I read that on the musky forums like you can send it out to Thorn Brothers um, you know they'll re-grease the reel up check to make sure everything's running smoothly and it just it is what it is until Shimano comes out the 500 this is what I'm going to be going with and I'm pretty happy with it um, I have to say I got to show you this video you know, this is rip, you know, casting out the Monster Medusa. Well, here's a video of me casting out the Chaos 12 inch Poseidon. I can get that bad boy out pretty far, man. Uh, and just, it's so effortlessly just to cast that 12 inch Poseidon. I mean, it just, I wish I would have, you know, switched the Bay Caster a lot earlier in my musky career, I guess you could say. But it is what it is. You know, you can only go with what you can afford at the time. And I threw my money into other things like such as upgrading a net, you know, buying a larger selection of lures. And now that I got a lot more money, I decided to end up getting two of these tranks and two tackle industries rods. And I ended up going with an extra heavy rod to maybe, you know, throw the lighter lures like bucktails, maybe even the lighter rubber, chatterbaits and all that. And I might actually get even a lighter rod. But so far, very happy with this combo. Um, nothing but positive things to say and what's nice about the tranks is you can engage I got four brakes engaged on this reel so it helps you know it's just like a crowd of DC with the chip it can actually help you cast uh, these larger lures out very a lot more smoothly and prevent backlash so I got four brakes engaged some people only do three but since I'm starting off, I went with four, and so far, pretty happy with the way it casts uh, the Medusa. You know, here's a video of me. Um, basically, the first day out with this combo, um, I got two backlashes. Sucks, but it's going to happen. And it's part of, you know, getting used to a new Baycaster combo. And yeah, the, the whole thing is backlash. not to give up. Keep with it. And, you know, I got out the next day, and guess what? I didn't get any backlashes at all. And I noticed the second day out, it just things were a lot more intuitive with me, um, a lot more influent. Um, it just, casting was an ease. So and it was just so good. simple. And I was noticing I was casting my lures a lot further. Um, so here's a video. You know, there's not a whole lot I got for you guys today. I didn't catch anything. But I did send the drone out, um, the Chasing M2. And we're kind of going to go over, you know, some of the structure we've seen down there. You know, you see the weeds broken down. Um, the one thing we do spot is actually a perch. And so here we go. You know, you notice on the bottom here, the structure, it's very sandy. So you don't really got to worry about too much uh, rocks or you, know, you see a bunch of leaves on the ground from fall. Um, you actually see there is a little bit of weeds left over. Look at that. They're starting to break down, but there is still a good amount of weeds. And um, as we go, keep going here. Um, you know, I wish I I need to get some a modification. They have these modifications for the Chasing M2 where you can install these arms that split off on the drone. 
And that way the lights aren't basically, um, you know, lights are hitting all the water particles and it's, you know, actually, you know, ruining the vision of the drone. And so you can't see as much uh, as you could if, you know, you had lights on the side of the drone with the arms that, you know, wouldn't, you know, hone in on the particles and ruin the vision of the drone as you, oh, oh, what do we just see right there? Um, let's see, rewind it. Oh, there we go. We got a perch. So I just actually saw a perch. Is that pretty cool, man? So I kind of sending out the drone. I spotted what the muskie might actually be feeding on in the area. You know, I always said, oh, I suspect they're feeding on walleye because the walleye fishermen were saying that they're uh, catching a lot of muskie on their, you know, soft plastics or whatever bait they're using. Uh, you know, well, there's now we know that there's perch in there right where I'm casting. I might want to mimic those colors. And it's by no surprise to me, you know, one of the first prey I see is a perch. It makes sense why, you know, the Strike King 8.0 and the perch color works so well uh, during November and December. Um you know, on musky. Um, not so much this year, but I might have to give it a try in December. You know, this is a lure you can just slowly reel off, off the bottom, uh, let it even grind the bottom a little bit, and let the vibration do its work. And as you can see, the water is super murky here. It just, there's not a whole lot you can see with the drone, but it is what it is. We just had like a, a tornado rip through Kentucky. We got a lot of those winds as well. So um, it just, it is what it is. Got to make the most of it. I wish, you know, on my off days uh, from work, I had a clear, you know, better, better weather conditions where the water was clear to send out the drone. But this is what it is. We'll be getting out shortly a lot more with the drone. Um, but for now, I just want to kind of catch up with you guys, um, show you that I did get, finally get out with my Tremonto Tranks Baitcaster and my Tackle Industries rod. Really love it. And I thought, you know, if I don't get any musky, I'll send out the drone. But as you can see, the water is pretty murky. So it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, tight lines anglers and take care.